from Pierce Get Norris. It's the Tom Likas Show. Shut your goddamn mouth. I'm trying to listen to Tom Likas. Bitch. And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about it in every kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. 1-800-5-800-TALK. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And we are together again on the radio. Uh, yesterday I took the day off. Why? Well, you may recall that I began my tenure with CBS Radio one year ago today. My contract began on April 1st of last year. And... Uh, So yesterday was the last day of my first year of my five-year contract with CBS, and I had a vacation day. So I took it, and I went to opening day at Dodger Stadium. And uh, I haven't spoken to you since we did this, but we also... uh, We also were at that game on Saturday night, and for people who don't live in L.A., you've probably read about this game where the the Dodgers set up a preseason game with the Boston Red Sox at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Dodgers coming to Los Angeles. The Dodgers spent their first four years playing at the Coliseum before Dodger Stadium was completed. And uh, it was the biggest crowd. It's been certified by the Guinness Book of World Records, the biggest crowd to ever see a baseball game, preseason or otherwise. Biggest ever. And we had a blast at that game. I was there with Gary and Dean and R. We were all there. And uh, we just, uh, I got a limo for the event, and that was the smartest thing you could have done because there was a big, long line of people like uh, waiting for the shuttle. I don't wait in lines. I just don't do it. So, um We had a blast, and then uh, so I topped it off since I had a vacation day yesterday. I sauntered on into Dodger Stadium and went to uh, opening day. And uh, what a blast that was because uh, the Dodgers and the owners of the Dodgers have really, uh, really gotten their act together. i got to say this. (laughs) Uh, Besides the event on Saturday, which was a huge success, um, yesterday, before the game, they had a ceremony where they introduced, it looked like about as many Dodgers from the last 50 years of the Dodgers as they could uh, drum up. One after another, all these guys walked on the field. But all of a sudden, the big surprise was they, they, they brought out Sandy Koufax, who, when I was a child, was my idol. And this is somebody who rarely makes a public appearance of any kind. And he hasn't uh, made an appearance in front of the crowd at Dodger Stadium in I can't tell you how many years. He's a very private person, Sandy Koufax. And when, when he walked out of the Dodger dugout yesterday and went to the mound to throw out the first pitch, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. That was fabulous. So uh, I just want to say I had a great time. I just I was blown away. It was the most fun I've had at a Dodger game in 10 years. Not to mention the fact that Dodgers won 5 nothing and essentially uh, crumpled up the San Francisco Giants and tossed them in the trash can. Just amazing. So uh, I know the Dodgers are trying really hard to uh, get 4 million people to the turnstiles for the first time. I think this year they're going to do it. Good or bad. You know, everybody's all excited about Joe Torre being the new manager of the Dodgers and... You know, but the events of the last three days with the Dodgers have uh, really gotten people excited and energized again about the Dodgers. Good for them. Good. I mean, the Dodgers have become such a part of the fabric of Los Angeles over the last 50 years. And by the way, for all the people who love to talk about Ebbets Field, the former home of the Dodgers in Brooklyn, 
the Dodgers have now played in uh, Dodger Stadium longer than they played in Ebbets Field. And there's all these books they came out. Uh, one was called The Last Great Season and other similar titles like that. Like uh, all these people who think baseball fell off a cliff after the Dodgers moved to Los Angeles and the Giants moved to San Francisco. Are you kidding? Do you know how many people the Dodgers were drawing at Ebbets Field in their last month or two in Brooklyn? You know, 9,000, 10,000 a game. The Dodgers drew more fans to the Coliseum for their first game in Los Angeles than they drew in their last 10 home games in Brooklyn. So all those morons from New York uh, who love to talk about uh, the good old days of the Dodgers playing in Brooklyn, they're full of crap. The Dodgers belonged to Los Angeles. Los Angeles wanted and actively pursued the Dodgers to come here, and we have supported them ever since. And uh, I was proud to be in those crowds both Saturday and yesterday. It was emotional. If baseball ever gets emotional, it was like that. Just great. Watching Vin Scully, another idol of mine, uh, speaking in front of the crowd of 115 people the other night at the Coliseum. Are you kidding? Got the biggest ovation of anybody. Who's a better broadcaster than Vin Scully? Please. So, anyway. It was nice to see because the Dodgers have been mishandled over the years for so many years. And it's been pretty sad because people continue to support them over that period of time, but mismanaged in every possible way. Public relations, uh, player personnel, uh, uh, you know, management of the uh, the farm system and everything. And, and it really looks like it's turned around now. I like it. Anyway, okay, enough of that. I just wanted to tell you about that because... Uh, that's what we've been doing with our lives over the weekend. What's your topic tonight? All right, anyway? all right. Don't get your panties in a bunch here. Listen, here's what I, I've come to tell you. Um, our uh, our mascot, our Italian mascot, Dean J. D'Amelio. The J, by the way, is for Giuseppe. I don't know if you know that. That's what he told us. Anyway, uh, Dino Giuseppe D'Amelio, our, our mascot, uh, he recently has taken an interest in MySpace. And uh, I know he has been on there, uh, you know, becoming a MySpace. Well, you know, I, I don't know how much of an expert he is, but he certainly fancies himself an expert in MySpace. And um, he uh, proceeded to do something for me that I was uh, unwilling and, frankly, too busy to do myself. Dean went in and swept out 35 pretenders, 35 phonies who were pretending to be me on MySpace. And this is one of the reasons I have hated MySpace and have avoided it like the plague, because anybody can go on there and say, you know, I'm Colin Farrell, I'm Jay Leno, I'm Tom Likas, and they just do it. And there were people setting up websites and, you know, trying to uh, have sex with uh, chicks who thought they were talking to me and uh, guys who were pretending to be me and pretending to be the professor and giving out advice that was all wrong and stuff. And uh, MySpace is notoriously difficult to deal with. Uh, it's hard to find uh, their office. Their phone number is hard to find. Getting a person to talk to you is difficult. Pretty much you have to hire an attorney to go after them when there are phonies on there. But somehow Dean was tenacious and figured out the system, and he flushed out all the fakes. So now if you go to MySpace.com slash Tom Likas, uh, you are actually seeing a real MySpace page. Now, I have avoided it, and honestly, you know, I've got a radio show. I don't need to blog. I have a radio show, okay? This is my blog right now. You're listening to it, okay? You don't have to log on. You don't have to click on anything. This is my blog. Uh, I've got a website. Uh, it's Our website is kind of static. We do the best we can with a very small staff. Uh, but uh, many of you are on MySpace and Facebook, and many of you have said, why don't you have a page on, on MySpace? So we are trying it. I am skeptical. I'll be honest with you because I see MySpace being full of scammers and spammers and... You know, a lot of people on there who just have nothing better to do with their time than send out, um, you know, stupid uh, bulletins to their friends and, and what have you. 
But uh, I do know that there is a desire uh, among the listeners to meet each other and communicate with each other. And so uh, if we have to do that with a MySpace page, we're going to do it. But th but the reason we have broken down and decided to have a MySpace page is because now I'm reasonably certain that all of the fakes are gone. And so I'm not competing with people who are claiming to be me. And that was one of uh, my real problems with MySpace is that they're uh, very sloppy about verifying who anybody is. And so anybody can claim to be anybody and anybody can do whatever they want. But now that uh, Dean was able somehow, and again, I don't know what contacts Dean has developed or how Dean did this. But Dean went in and literally, and I know some of you people are probably listeners, but in one fell swoop, 35 fake MySpace pages came down, including many of them that use uh, terms that I have personally, well, I'll say trademark. The term is service mark. Uh, uh, my name, for example, is a service mark. Yeah, you can't use my name without my permission. You can't. So you can't have a MySpace page with my name as the name of the page. You can't do it because... I registered it, so you can't do that. And the idea is so that phonies can't go out there claiming to be me. It's certainly not because I'm planning on uh, you know, making money by marketing the use of my name or licensing it. Uh, it's just simply to keep frauds from, from using it. Lycus 101 is service marked. Uh, other terms we use on the air, Flash Friday is service marked. And so there are people who got on MySpace and set up pages with all of these uh, as the uh, as the URLs, and then they started communicating with our listeners. And there are people out there who thought they were talking to me or Dean or some member of our staff, when in reality they were talking to another listener who was trying to take advantage of them. So now that we have been able to take down all of the fakes, and now that we've been able to take possession of all of the URLs on MySpace that involve my service marks, like my name or Lycus 101 or Flash Friday or whatever, now you can be assured that if you're on MySpace and the page says it's me, it is me. And now if somebody wants to start another page and pretend to be me, well, number one, we'll we'll get you taken down just like we've done in the past. But number two, you're going to have to use some oddball URL because all the obvious ones now are really me. So it, I'm not promising uh, a whirlwind of entertainment or all kinds of bells and whistles, but if you go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas, uh, you will see our web page, our uh, MySpace page there. It's set up. And yes, yes, we will accept people as friends, and we will let everybody communicate with everybody else, and we'll put messages up there and that kind of thing, and we'll see how it goes. Now, again, I've got a radio show, and frankly, I'm not even sure I need a MySpace page, but we're going to try it. Now, I'm wondering if you think we should be doing this. If you Are we wasting our time having a MySpace page? Is this something you were hoping we would do? It, do, you, do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a stupid idea? Um, again, I've always said it's a stupid idea, and I've avoided it like the plague. But uh, now that we know that we can get on there and that we will be the one and only Tom Likas on MySpace, all right, we put a page up and we will see what happens. But you tell me, do you think this is a good idea? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. In the industry I'm working in, I've been in it two years. I've already been promoted to the top of the level of where I can be after two years because I put that hard work in, and I didn't pay for everything. You know what I mean? I did it the way, the Tom Likas way, the man way. It's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 Free FM. SoCal's FM Talk Station. Uh, we got a MySpace page. You wanted us to get a MySpace page. Dean, uh, Dean put the uh, screws to 35 frauds on MySpace, had them all removed. All people are pretending to be me. And now we have got possession of all of the uh, requisite URLs. So if you go to uh, MySpace.com slash Tom Likas, you'll see us. If you don't know how to spell my name, go to BlowMeUpTom.com. And we'll link you through. Alright, 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. 
Hey, Tom's dad. Like, the dad I never had, you know? Um, well, I got I got a couple things to tell you about MySpace now. Um, I've been doing a lot of research lately because that's, that's been my kind of, you know, I'm a businessman trying to follow your rules and follow your advice. Now I'm doing some other thing, but I've been doing some MySpace research, um, you know, and I've got a couple things. Um, one of them is I think a lot of the listeners here um, – could benefit a lot from it because, for example, you raise a topic, you talk about it. I mean, you don't have to be actually doing anything on it. We as listeners go ahead, um, input or whatever we want to. We create content. Now, the more content that your website has, even if it's on MySpace, the more value it has for search engines, um, for example, Google. Google, um, Yahoo, they, the more um, content that the page has, the higher you end up in, like, when somebody searches for whatever, sex, you know, you come up right on the top, myspace.com forward slash Tom Likas. Now, when you put that link into your homepage, and, for example, your 97.1 um, page or your blow, blow Me Up Tom page, that, when you put that link from the MySpace with a lot of content, with a lot of ranking into your own page, that will boost up a lot more your your own ranking for your own for those pages. So what we have now is you have three powerful pages. You know that you don't have to be doing anything. We build the pages. We build the content for your MySpace page. From that, it goes into your own page and into your 97.1, which means more revenue dollars. Wow. All right. Well, I I love revenue, as you know. I really didn't do this for revenue, and I'll believe there's revenue in it when I see it, but okay, I have an open mind. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Ivan on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, good afternoon. Tom, a quick ping before I step into class. Sure. You, these days you can set up your MySpace page so, that they can, so people who come on to it can't actually email you through it, but if you have a MySpace page set up and you have links to your actual um, the blowmeuptom.com, as Chris said, you can actually get more revenue on that page without actually having to sit there and blog in your underwear at night, as you said. You've already done this community. Enough help by being on the radio, buddy. I love it. Well, baby, have a good day, my friend. Sounds good to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Uncle Daddy. How you doing? I'm doing Okay. Yeah, I'm too old to be your kid, so you're more like my uncle. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, I think it's a good idea because if you think about it, man, think about all these chicks that are looking for Mr. Right, right? If I got you, if you accept me, I'm my number one friend, and chicks go to my MySpace, they know exactly what I'm about. There's no pussy footing around. There's no, uh, yeah, I like walks on the sand and Nick candlelight dinners. No, I listen to like us. If you listen to them, you know why I'm here. Let's get the business done. Sounds good to me. So, in other words, you're saying it's kind of like shorthand. Sure. You're a Likas listener. You're a 101 student, and that should let the other person know that that's all there is to it. Exactly. Yeah. That's about it. Take me out turkey neck, will you? Are you ready? Here you yep. go. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Long-time listener. Doing okay. Um, yeah, about this whole MySpace thing, man, I was thinking it's a bit of a critical of you to go and create a MySpace when recently, I mean, not too long ago, you just said you would never date a girl or see a girl that had a... Uh, oh, no. A well, no, 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 no. I didn't say I would never date a girl. I said I would never be in a relationship with a girl or be married to a girl who had a MySpace page. Um, would I date a girl as a MySpace page? I, you know why I would? Because I know what kind of a slut she is. That's true, but but I would never, I would never let a woman like that live in my home. Never, never. I right, but what about instead of going to MySpace? What if you create your own thing on TomLikas dot com? I mean, people already know your name. People already know your website. Again, I, you know what? I couldn't care less about MySpace. Uh, it's the listeners who are asking for it, and in fact, uh, it's more because I get the satisfaction out of getting rid of the phonies. Because if I don't have a MySpace page, a phony comes along. 
And we've had them. By the way, not only have they been phonies trying to like pick up chicks or getting uh, uh, some kind of a blast out of pretending to be me and giving people advice, bad advice frequently. There's also people trying to promote bands and products and what have you who use my name uh, to then point uh, the page to uh, some kind of advertising and what have you. And right. th this stops it. Well, I mean, also, I mean, just like really, people know your name, Tom. I mean, it's not like you're some anonymous. No, you don't hear what? Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I mean, don't so, you think that's a good reason to do it? Not really. I mean, there's phonies on there. I mean, you look up a celebrity, you'll come up with ten thousand results for Paris Hilton, Vin Diesel. Well, we got stuff. rid of thirty-five prime uh, suspects. These are people who were using my name in the title, my name in the URL. I mean, we, we searched it, and we cleaned it out of those. Now if somebody wants to pretend to be me, they have to get some wacky URL that will not have my name in it. Well, it still doesn't stop the phonies. I mean, they can put any URL, URL they want. I mean, uh, No, they can't the because we have a relationship now with MySpace, and they know that anybody who pretends to be me is not me, and they will take them down. Oh, okay. See, I wasn't aware of that. Was and that's what Dean's been doing. I, but believe me, I have nothing to do with this. This was Dean's idea. Dean's trying to get laid. You know what? If Dean wants to get laid, more power to him. I agree. And if you're cool with it, then, uh, then that's I'm totally... To and Dean, look, Dean, had, Dean has lived off my fumes for eight years. <laughs> Actually, more closer to ten. He's worked on the show for eight years. And he's been living off my fumes. And if Dean can get laid that way, I'd rather Dean get laid than some schmuck who listens to the show who's pretending to be me. Couldn't agree more, Tom. I just your philosophy doesn't scream. I need a MySpace page. Oh, well, it absolutely doesn't. But 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 guess again. You know, as far as uh, I I know, I don't need a MySpace page. But I guarantee you that there's a married man out there right now whose wife is writing me a message on MySpace. Oh, guaranteed. Or there's a guy whose girlfriend is is constructing a message for me right now. Well, what do you get out of that? Well, I. Well, uh, well, you know what? I'll get it if Dean doesn't uh, scoop it up first. <laughs> All right, Tom. All right. Thanks. Thank you, Ryan. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. This is Nick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. How you going, Tom? Doing okay. Good. First of all, I just want to say I'm a big fan. Uh, I'm an EMT, so we're listening to you five days a week on the ambulance. I love that. No, I thought there was more. I love that. No, yeah, it's great. One of the, when you read that letter a couple uh, weeks ago that, that married man said divorce his wife, we uh, we held a patient in the back for a little bit longer. Really? It's great. Did he did he survive? Oh, yeah, he's fine. All right, just checking. All right, Tom. Yeah, we, well, we were enjoying the show so much that we left the patient in the cab, and, and, and he died. But it was <laughs> such a good show, it was worth it. Yeah. We're sacrificing lives for you, Tom. Thank you for that, Nick. Um, <laughs> just want to about this whole MySpace thing. I think it's great. You're uh, you're eliminating people who are falsifying your name, and at the same time, uh, it's advertising. People are get, you're keeping up with the times. It's kind of like when uh, emails come out and you have your your uh, your website. It's just the next step up. So many people use it. It would be kind of a uh, dumb not to keep up with the times. Well, uh, we've put the page up there. You can see it. And then uh, we will see what happens when all these people start uh, adding comments and all they are putting in friend requests and everything. We'll see what happens. Cool. Yeah, I just wanted to say it was a good idea, and uh, we're listening to you every day. Big fans. Thank you, Nick. And, uh, Tom, can you take me out with the, the Meow Meow song followed by a machine gun? I certainly can. Meow, 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 I love that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue here with uh, so many calls. Everybody with a different opinion. Mike in Boise, Idaho on the Tom Liga Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How's it going? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I was going to say there's only three real reasons for using MySpace. If you're not trying to get laid, it's at least keeping in touch with family and friends or finding, you know, old friends that you used to have. 
And uh, other than that, if you're running a business, unless you're doing shows on tour, doing venues, you know, any public type uh, service deals, there really isn't any reason to be on it. I mean, it's it's got great networking power, but I mean, unless you're actively on there trying to add everybody to your friends list yourself, you know, it's kind of pointless. Well, again, we've got uh, we've got Dean J. D'Amelio who. Uh... You know, he's there using the tools of ignorance to uh, uh, construct uh, our MySpace page and to add all of the uh, all of the friends and check it out to see who the spammers are and check it out to see uh, who's got the viruses and who's got the webcams and who's charging for access to their page and things like that. Uh, and hopefully screening all those out. Yeah, well, it's I mean, overall, MySpace isn't bad, but I don't know, of course, being a business, like I was saying, unless you got... Unless you're doing like public appearances and shows, you know, in venues, and you got a schedule to post up. Well, there. I imagine if we had a half a million people on there, maybe it'd be worth my while to to do some. Well, there is over half a million people on there. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, on our on our page. Oh, leave it up for a month. You'd be amazed at how many you get on there. Well, we're gonna find out. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to post your. Uh, well, I'm sure you guys are already gonna have that as common sense, but your link to your website, the listen live. Uh, we do have a link to the website. Uh, yeah. We haven't uh, yet put up a way to listen to the show, but I'm sure that's coming. Yeah, and you can always post uh, pictures of the girls you have on the show, guests and stuff like that, too. Because a lot of people like to see what these people look like that you actually have on the show. Well, like we had Joe Rogan on. Do you know what Joe Rogan looks like, right? How about Bob Saget? He was on the show. You see one oh, versus yeah. one. You want to see what Bob Saget looks like? Turn on one yeah. versus 100. Bob Saget's a lot funnier on your show than he is on TV. Well, well, that's good, but of course, you see, he's not allowed when oh, he's no. doing a show like that to say the things he says here. Oh, right, I know. But anyway, I love your show, and keep up the good work, Tom. All right, you too, Mike. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, I just wanted to call up and just congratulate you on being the number one pick. Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Thank you for tuning in. All right, well, we got, uh, we got a MySpace page. You wanted us to get a MySpace page. Dean, uh, Dean put the uh, screws to 35 frauds on MySpace, had them all removed. All people are pretending to be me. And now we have got possession of all of the uh, requisite URLs. So if you go to uh, MySpace.com slash Tom Likas... You'll see us. If you don't know how to spell my name, go to blowmeuptom.com, and we'll link you through. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, Tom's dad. Like, this dad I never had, you know. Um, well, I got I got a couple things to tell you about MySpace now. Um, I've been doing a lot of research lately because I'm, that's, that's been my kind of, you know, I'm a businessman trying to follow your rules and follow your advice. Now I'm doing some other thing, but I've been doing some MySpace research, um, you know, and I've got a couple things. Um, one of them is I think a lot of the listeners here, um, could benefit a lot from it because, for example, you raise a topic. You talk about it. I mean, you don't have to be actually doing anything on it. We as listeners go ahead, um, input or whatever we want to. We create content. Now, the more content that your website has, even if it's on MySpace, the more value it has for search engines. Um, for example, Google. Google, um, Yahoo, they, the more um, content that the page has, the higher you end up in, like, when somebody searches for whatever, sex, you know, you come up right on the top, myspace.com forward slash Tom Likas. Now, when you put that link into your homepage and, for example, your 97.1 um, page or your blog, Blow Me Up Tom page, that, when you put that link from the MySpace with a lot of content, with a lot of ranking into your own page, that will boost up a lot more your your own ranking for your own for those pages. So what we have now is you have three powerful pages, you know, that you don't have to be doing anything. We build the pages. We build the content for your MySpace page. From that, 
it goes into your own page and into your 971, which means more revenue dollars. Wow. All right. Well, I, I love revenue, as you know. I really didn't do this for revenue, and I'll believe there's revenue in it when I see it, but okay, I have an open mind. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Ivan on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, good afternoon. Tom, a quick opinion before I step into class. Sure. You, these days you can set up your MySpace page so, that they can, so people who come on to it can't actually email you through it. But if you have a MySpace page set up and you have links to your actual um, the blowmeuptom.com, as Chris said, you can actually get more revenue on that page without actually having to sit there and blog in your underwear at night, as you said. You've already done this community enough help by being on the radio, buddy. I love it. Well, buddy, have a good day, my friend. Sounds good to me. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Uncle Daddy. How you doing? No, okay. Yeah, I'm too old to be your kid, so you're more like my uncle. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, I think it's a good idea because if you think about it, man, think about all these chicks that are looking for Mr. Right, right? If I got you, if you accept me, I'm my number one friend, and chicks go to my MySpace, they know exactly what I'm about. There's no pussy footing around. There's no, uh, yeah, I like walks on the sand and Nick candlelight dinners. No, I listen to like us. If you listen to him, you know why I'm here. Let's get the business done. Sounds good to me. So, in other words, you're saying it's kind of like shorthand. Sure. You're a Likas listener. You're a 101 student, and that should let the other person know that that's all there is to it. Exactly. Yeah. That's about it. Take me out turkey neck, will you? Are you ready? Here you yep. go. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Long time listener. Doing okay. Um, yeah, about this whole MySpace thing, man, I was thinking it's a bit hypocritical of you to go and create a MySpace when recently, I mean, not too long ago, you just said you would never date a girl or see a girl that had a... Uh, oh, no. A well, no, 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 no. I didn't say I would never date a girl. I said I would never be in a relationship with a girl or be married to a girl who had a MySpace page. Um, would I date a girl as a MySpace page? I, you know why I would? Because I know what kind of a slut she is. <laughs> That's uh, true, but but I would never, I would never let a woman like that live in my home. Never, never. I right, but what about instead of going to MySpace? What if you create your own thing on TomLikas.com? I mean, people already know your name. People already know your website. Again, I, you know what? I couldn't care less about MySpace. Uh, it's the listeners who are asking for it, and in fact, uh, it's more because I get the satisfaction of getting rid of the phonies. Because if I don't have a MySpace page, a phony comes along. And we've had them, by the way, not only have they been phonies trying to like pick up chicks or getting uh, uh, some kind of a blast out of pretending to be me and giving people advice, bad advice frequently. There's also people trying to promote bands and products and what have you who use my name uh, to then point uh, the page to uh, some kind of advertising and what have you. And th right. this stops it. Well, I mean, also, I mean, just like really... Uh People know your name, Tom. I mean, it's not like you're some anonymous. No, you don't hear what? Did name. you hear what I just said? Yeah, but I mean, don't so you think that's a good reason to do it? Not really. I mean, there's phonies on there. I mean, you look up a celebrity, you'll come up with ten thousand results for Paris Hilton, Vin Diesel. Well, we got stuff. rid of thirty-five prime uh, suspects. These are people who were using my name in the title, my name in the URL. I mean, we we searched it and we cleaned it out of those. Now, if somebody wants to pretend to be me, they have to get some wacky URL that will not have my name in it. Well, so it's not the phonies. I mean, they can put any URL URL they want. I mean, uh, no, they can't because we have a relationship now with MySpace, and they know that anybody who pretends to be me is not me, and they will take them down. Oh, okay. See, I wasn't aware of that. Was, and that's what Dean's been doing. I, but believe me, I have nothing to do with this. This was Dean's idea. Uh, and so uh, I said, all right, you know, Dean's been uh, pushing, pushing, pushing. Dean's been telling me for weeks he's been working with MySpace to get the phonies down. And frankly, I was skeptical. But but right, he, well, he did it. Well, also, Tom, I mean, really, don't get stuck in this mind. Stay true to your fans, Tom. Be, you know, the... Hey, you know what? I, here's my message to the fans. Anybody who thinks this is a stupid idea, please don't look at this page. Please don't go there. Listen to Tom, everyone. Listen to him. You know, he's talking about, hey, Tom, can you take me out? Uh, can you blow me up? Of course I can. Believe me, 
happy. I, I have no problem with it. If you, if you don't want to log on to the page, you don't want to see it, don't do it. In fact, I'm telling you right now, there's not a lot of compelling content going up there. I'm not promising anything. Um, I wrote a blog of about eight lines just to fill the blog space. But uh, don't be expecting miracles because I'm really not going to... If, if there isn't revenue in it, I really have no interest in doing it, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Stacy on the Tom Like His Show, hello. Hello. Hi. You busy over there? Pardon me? I said, are you busy? Oh, no, I'm just driving home in this cruddy traffic, you know. I see. So, about MySpace. You know, I have a MySpace, and I'm not a slut. So, what does that mean? Well, it means there's exceptions to every rule. So what? So, I'm a very nice person. You should Most women on MySpace are sluts. I said, again, there are exceptions to every rule. You know the old saying, even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> that's true. That's so so true. who cares? If you're not one of the sluts, what what does that prove? Well, I don't know. It just proves that not all people are sluts on MySpace. I didn't say all people are sluts on MySpace. There are exceptions to every rule. But the oh. women on MySpace generally are sluts. They're on there to meet guys and hook up. Okay, well, I guess I'm just one of the exceptions to the rule. So you've never met a guy on MySpace? No, I haven't. Never chit-chatted with a guy? Only people I know. And are these guy friends who want to nail you? Probably. Yeah. All my well, guy friends want to nail me. Right. <laughs> and why do you need the page, then, if you're not looking to hook up? What's the purpose of the page? Friends and family, pictures, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. You couldn't you just email it. them some pictures. If you got it, flaunt it, baby. And what? If you kind of flaunt it, what are you flaunt? <laughs> what exactly are you flaunting? Uh, my personality, man. I don't know. Uh, oh, on a, on, a, on a web page, you're flaunting your personality. Yeah, it's all about the smile. Okay. <laughs> I dare. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Jerry on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jerry. Now, you frequently at, like, parties and functions, they'll hire, like, Elvis impersonators or, like, Madonna impersonators, Marilyn Monroe. Would you ever have a problem if there was a guy and he was... You know, getting paid and as part of his job on the weekends, maybe to be a like a Tom Likas impersonator. No, as long as he wasn't actually trying to convince people he was really me, and then uh, going home and having sex with them or giving them advice as the professor or things like that. So if he was just going around doing your stick with like headphones and a microphone, and no, no, uh, they, there are, there are many of those. There's one guy every year, one that I know of. Who do we use it once? I think we've used it once before, twice. Yeah. All right, 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Uh, let's say hello here to Stan on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Stan. Hey, uh, yeah, I was, I, there was a couple of the guys that I didn't agree with, but I agree with the guy Steve. I think it would be a great thing uh, being on MySpace because when you have a guy that's on your friend list, your face will show on their friend list, and women will know that they're dealing with the Likas man. And for the women that don't know or the guys that don't know, basically what it's an easy conversation for them to say, hey, you need to listen. And now that's going to be bringing more listeners to that don't know about you. I know you can't believe it, but there are people that still don't know about you. But that will bring more people who do not know about you to your radio station, which turns into revenue if you have more ratings. Well, I would love to see that happen. And here's the other thing, Tom. The fact that there's so many people trying the fact that your show is so highly rated. Well, you took too long to say it, but I thank you for the call. The Tom Likas Show.